development team at Projetech, I am pleased to be emceeing this webinar with Projetech's business partner, Seedon Technologies, and more specifically, Arul Aradarajan, who is a principal with Seedon Technologies. Today, Arul will be demonstrating Seedon's mobile platform called EAM360 and the functional capabilities of this great product. Before I begin, just a few reminders. This webinar is being recorded and all phone lines have been muted. We'll be sending out the recording by the end of the week and we'll also be answering all of your questions at the end of this webinar. So please submit your questions in the field box. If we miss answering some of your questions, we will be responding to those individuals via email. Prior to handing this off to a rule, a little background on Projetech and our relationship with Seedon Technologies. Projetech has been working with Seedon and their mobile product, EAM360, for almost two years. Our first deployment was on a large international power plant. Projetech, as the world's largest hosting provider of Maximo in a private cloud, fully supports the EAM360 product cloud-based. Our software as a service or SaaS solution provides our customers with a secure, dedicated, and fully supported Maximo application via the cloud. And we are very proud to extend that service to the EAM360 product as well. I'm gonna turn this over to a rule now for the demonstration. Thanks, Daryl. Hello, everyone. I am going to give a demo on performing preventive maintenance checks using EAM360 mobile app for Maximo. Let's take this scenario for the demo today. The maintenance planner assigns the PM work order to a technician called Jacob. He gets the notification of work assignment on his mobile device. He views previous maintenance history to understand the past failures and other works performed on the asset. He views the work location on the map. He views the safety instructions, collects necessary safety gears, and proceeds to work. He performs the work as per the task and flags the status as completed in his mobile app. He also records the time spent and material used for the work order. He updates the work log as a text or voice and captures the photo where required in the app. He creates the follow-up work order for the issue noticed while performing the PM check. He hands over the asset and requests the operator to provide sign-off in his mobile device. He then completes the PM work order. I am going to use the AM360 mobile app for this demo. Let's go through a quick overview of this app. It's an IBM approved mobile app to use with Maximo. It works both online and offline mode. It uses background sync to connect with Maximo to provide seamless user experience. It uses Maximo's integration framework and resides inside Maximo. It does not require any further investment on the server side and works with the existing infrastructure of Maximo. It uses end-to-end -end encryption, HTTPS connection and pluggable authentication for improved security. EAM360's mobility focuses mainly on usability. It provides context-based user interfaces for intuitive navigations with minimal clicks. None of the transactions will take more than 15 seconds in EAM360 mobile app. The network manager and sync manager of the app uses local mobile data store and push notifications for the background sync which makes the app highly performant. It consumes less battery of your device and works even in low bandwidth connections. It's a native app leveraging the iOS and Android platform capabilities. It integrates with underlying platform APIs such as native search, 
geolocation, notification, Bluetooth peripherals and nearables such as beacons and NFC tags. EAM360 is a role-based app designed from a mobile-first perspective. It offers the following role-based apps. Technician app for work actuals reporting. Supervisor app for work assignments and reporting work for the technicians. Manager app for approvals and view work progress details. Storekeeper app to perform issue, receipts and physical count. EAM360 supports mobile and tablet devices of iOS and Android platforms. It supports iOS 9 and above operating systems of Apple. The recommended devices are iPhone 6 and above. It supports Android 4.4, KitKat and above. Device with a screen size of 5 inches and more is recommended. Let me start the demo. John, the maintenance planner, logs into Maximo. He views the PM work order generated by Maximo. He assigns this PM work order to Jacob, the maintenance technician. Let me project the mobile device here. Jacob opens EAM360 mobile app. This is how the app looks from Jacob's mobile device. He views the PM work order and other work orders assigned to him in this list page. He can see work order description, asset description, location details and the schedule date of the work order. The work order priority is color coded with red for priority 1, yellow for priority 2 and gray for other priorities. Jacob decides to perform the PM work order. He would like to know the previous maintenance details of the asset before the start of the work. So he scans the QR code of the emergency generator and views the maintenance history of the asset. Jacob opens the PM work order. The app provides a safety alert with the hazard associated with the work and its precautions. Jacob flags the red checkbox and proceeds to the work order. The timestamp and the user details are stored in Maximo. He then reviews the work instructions associated with the work by clicking this green arrow icon. The text added in the long description of the work order in Maximo is displayed here. Now he taps the location icon to view the work location on a map. It will be a very useful feature when the assets are located in distributed locations. EAM360 app uses Google Map API to display the details. The app can be integrated with A3 ArcGIS APIs also. Jacob performs the work, enters the work execution command and then completes the task by flagging the checkbox. Jacob navigates to labor time tab to record his work time. He can either use the timer or enter the time directly using the add icon. He enters start time. And then duration.
Now, three hours of his work time is recorded for the work order. He can also start and then stop the timer to record the time duration. He then navigates to log tab and enters the work log. He also takes the photo of the work site. Annotates the area where the leak is noticed. Additionally, he can also speak and record a voice note and attach with the log. Water leak in cooling water inlet line can be taken up in the next opportunity. He saves the log with attachments. The photo and the voice note attached with the log can be viewed on click of the paper click icon. Now he creates a follow up work order for the water leak. Cooling water dripping in EMDG. This will be the description of the follow up work order. This follow up work order will be associated as a related record to this work order. He then navigates to materials tab. He views the items planned for the PM work order. He can view item description, item number, storeroom, current and available balance, unit cost and planned quantity. He reports the usage of planned item by clicking add icon. The app defaults the planned quantity in the quantity field. The user can modify it if required. He clicks proceed icon to report the used quantity. Jacob used lock washer in addition to the items planned for the work order. He clicks add icon on the top of the page to report unplanned material usage. The material usage dialog box opens to report the item details. He clicks select item ID field to search for the lock washer. The app displays all the items along with the available quantity from the store rooms associated with this security profile. The EAM360 mobile app uses background sync to retrieve the items from Maximo. Maximo sends a push notification to the app for any change in the inventory details. The app will then pull data from Maximo using REST API. Jacob searches the item with the word washer. The system displays the items that contains the word washer. He selects the matching item. The app defaults the material details with all required details. The EAM360 mobile app is designed to default all possible values to help the user complete any transactions within 15 seconds. Now he enters two quantity as used quantity and submit the record. The usage details are updated in the app and then synchronized with Maximo as actual material usage. EAM360 app can also support material requests in addition to the material usage. If you have a storekeeper to manage your storeroom, materials have to be requested instead of reporting the usage. If the material request option is selected for the user, 
the material request will be sent to Maximo. The materials can then be issued by the storekeeper based on his material request using EAM360 Storekeeper app or using Maximo. He then navigates to Specification tab to enter values for humidity and room temperature. He enters 90% as humidity value, 20 degree as room temperature value. and saves the record. The app displays the specification attributes associated with the work order. This is one of the ways to capture key parameter values of the work order. Now he moves to sign off section to get the signature from the operator for the handover. He gets a real signature from the operator and also his handover commands, name, title, and email details. The signature will be captured as an image and attached with the work order. The sign-off process will complete the work order status. This is a configurable feature in EAM360 mobile app. Let's assume Jacob was not able to complete the work today. He can print under maintenance tag using a portable Bluetooth or Wi Fi printer and stick on the asset. Now, he would like to take up the high voltage line inspection, a route based PM work order. He opens the inspection work order. The work order displays the assets for which route based inspection to be carried out. The assets are listed in the same order in which the inspections will be carried out. You may have noticed that the user interface of this work order is different than the previous PM work order. EAM360 mobile app provides context-based user interface based on the work type and other data present in the work order. Each asset is associated with different inspection tasks. Jacob opens the first asset, Circuit Breaker. Four inspection tasks are displayed. He performs the inspection and completes the task. He then opens the second asset, DC battery, and performs two inspection tasks displayed. He completes the first task. He enters the measurement readings for the second task by clicking the measurement icon. He enters the value as 10. The measurement icon is displayed only if any condition monitoring point is associated with the task. The entered values are updated in the respective condition monitoring point in Maximo. If the entered value exceeds the control limit set, Maximo generates the corrective maintenance work order to fix the issue. Now he enters the commands by clicking the pen icon. The comments are updated as a work log for the task in Maximo. Now he clicks the attachment icon and attaches the photo from the gallery of his mobile device. Photo is stored as document attachment in Maximo. 
He then navigates to fab icon. The various actions for the work order is displayed. He clicks complete icon and update the status of the work order to complete. The completed work order is removed from his to-do list. This completes the demo scenario and now I'll turn this over to ProjTech to read some submitted questions. Thank you, Arul. That was a fantastic demonstration. We have had a few questions come through, so let's answer them here. Uh, the first one is, has the EAM 360 application been configured and delivered via Project X Cloud Solution? And if so, how long did it take to deploy? Yes, EAM 360 mobile app has been configured to Project X Cloud Solution. Deployment is quick in that Project X will have a non-production instance up and running within a couple of days of the contract being signed. A rule, another question is, can EAM360 mobile app integrate into Maximo workflows? Yes, EAM360 has an out-of-the-box integration with Maximo workflow. The workflow assignment options will be available for the mobile users to choose. The selected option will then be routed into Maximo workflow using REST APIs. All right, we have time for one more question. Being that Projetech includes upgrades inside of their hosting services, what are the supported Maximo versions for EAM360? And if an upgrade occurs, will the mobile platform still work? EAM360 supports Maximo version 7.1 onwards. It will work with your Maximo after upgrade. EAM360 app is native and use all of the latest native APIs and they are essentially future proof. There are practically no restrictions due to Maximo upgrade. Again, I want to thank everyone for attending today's webinar. Any additional questions unanswered will be responded to via email. Also, on the, the slide presented, contact information for both a rule and myself is listed. Finally, if you could please complete the survey that was at the end of this webinar, we'd greatly appreciate it. And thank you again for taking time out of your day to attend this webinar.